Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. Hello! Today is a thrifty and gifty Thursday, and we're going to begin with this beautiful Ruby Jeanette Glass footed cake plate. This was gifted to me by my son's Aunt CJ. And it's absolutely lovely. CJ also gifted us these. Aren't they sweet? These are by Susan Paley. Many of you may know who that is. And this was CJ's contribution to my son's education. And she gave us much more, and you'll see that in the next few weeks. This one's called Be Mine, and it is by Gans. And this lovely lady is companioned by Daisy. These lovely ladies stand about 12 inches tall each and they will be in our eBay store very soon. Very sweet. Now this was my surprise today. When I, the very first thing I picked up thrifting was Woodstock. And if my brother Pete were alive, he would be getting him for Christmas. He loved Woodstock. This was 1972. The date's very hard to see, but it is a 1972 piece, and it is worth about $29. I paid a dollar and a half for it. Absolutely adorable. These were a wonderful surprise. CJ and I went out to lunch on Sunday and stopped by this little market that was having their Christmas open house. In one of the booths, I spotted these. One for me and one for my son Nicholas. His birthday is coming up next month and I have a little surprise. What fun little cups. Next we have this little green truck. It is made of porcelain and now I'm going to share with you what I did with the wreath from last week. This is a die cast metal truck my son Nicholas thrifted on one of his adventures. The little cover for the bank part was broken and it had no resale value, so... One wreath plus one what was a yellow truck became a red truck wreath, which can sell for about $24. So, this little truck, it's going to be a green truck wreath, but that's what I'm going to do with this little guy. I have one more craft fair coming up, and so this little fellow will go to that next craft fair. Now we have this sweet, solid brass mousetrap by Inesco. This is another gift from my son's Aunt CJ. Isn't he just the cutest little fellow? Now we have this beautiful Russian lacquered box. It is tin. It is vintage. Absolutely adorable. I paid two dollars for this box and I will ask eight. Really lovely.
Now we have this adorable 1940s or 50s porcelain kitten. This will be used in an upcoming Tea Tuesday project. What a great face. Here we have a wonderful, wonderful little old book, Honey Bunch. This book was given as a gift in 1926. Now this book was $5. I normally don't buy old books, but it was perfect for a nice junk journal. Now the binding was broken and that was one of the reasons I did buy it because it has no resale value. My suggestion for the best glue for good quality book repair and junk journaling is a page neutral adhesive that is archival quality and acid free. As a reminder, I'll share that information in the description below. And now we have this lovely pair of hand-painted salt shakers. And this will be among many featured in an upcoming Christmas project. Normally I purchase the Orphan salt shakers. This just happened to be a pair. Lastly, we have this silver trivet. I paid $1 for this trivet on 50% off day. I will be using this on my thrifted table. Very simple and it makes for an elegant table. For a dollar. Well thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, subscribe, share this channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. Hit that notification button and the like button and help my channel to grow. We are now on Instagram. But most of all, have an absolutely lovely day.